Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. I'm doing some batch of videos here. I'm all wrapped up because it is pancake day here. Uh, every I'm doing since I'm doing this ultimate diet 2.0, the this uh, this crazy like car, it's basically a carb cycling ketogenic almost ketogenic diet. Uh, don't worry if you don't know what that means. But anyway, what it really means is this. On Fridays, I eat a lot of pancakes because I got to get carbs. <laughs> so I have energy when I when I do this because I've been essentially eating almost no carbs for the last four days and now it's carb day. Anyway, that's besides the point. This video is about this uh, this topic that I got. Actually, a question from Alexander. And I'm going to paraphrase a bunch of this because it's a long email. Guys, stop sending me long email. No, <laughs> it's all right. I, I understand. Sometimes it's got to be explained that way. But I'll paraphrase it. And look, I got my laptop again. So anyway, so Alex basically, this is Alex's basic scenario, right? So he works in retail. He is, you know, he wants to get into computer programming, wants to become uh, a programmer, essentially. And he's been taking a course in school, like a, a university course in Java, and he's doing well in it. You know, he's uh, buddies with the professor there. And, and basically, he doesn't have any other options where he's at. He'd either have to like start over and learn C because that's what the, I guess the rest of the, the course material for, for his university or, or college is. And then, or, or he'd have to just do other courses and he wants to continue with this programming. His, uh, his professor recommended him Coursera.com. Uh, he also reached out to him one day after class and he says, my profeature, pro my profeature, my professor reached out to me one day after class recommending me a three month programming boot camp for web development with a one month internship at the end. Knowing that my main focus isn't so much on getting a degree, but rather a job in programming, he thought that would be a good route for me. So this is Alex's problem now that we've set up the scenario. He says, uh, the problem with going to boot camp would be that I could not work my normal job for four months and I'd have to find a way to pay the tuition of $9,000 to attend. Considering I'm living on my own, this is a big stress financially, but if I could really land an actual job right out of it, it seems like it might be worth a shot. So his other alternative, he says, my question is, should I continue working my real t retail job, take the online data structures class and receive a certificate and try my luck getting a job with my knowledge with Java or should I go into the boot camp to focus on web dev development but get an internship and a much better immediate chance of landing a programming job considering my goal is to get into the field as quickly as possible. So, okay, so it's a little bit of a long setup here but because I think you gotta know the background for me to answer this question and, and to make sense here. So, uh, so here's the deal, Alexander, I, I would say, I'm going to give you a suggestion of what I think would be the best course of action. This is going to depend on the timing of the boot camp. So I don't like people getting in debt. Getting in debt hurts. If you can avoid it, do so. So if you can just pay the cash for that $9,000 for that boot camp, or, or you can pay it off or, or whatever it is where you're not going to be strapped and, and put it on a credit card, go for it. Do it. That makes sense to me and I'll tell you why. Because it, because it has that internship at the end, right? And if you focus and apply yourself for the three months, you already know some programming, right? And, and you get an internship at the end and that can potentially lead to another job, that's going to get you in quick. But it's all going to depend on your focus. Like you got you to gotta come into this thinking this, I am going to be the hardest working person in this boot camp. If you don't have that attitude, forget it. Don't do it. Then just don't then then don't go this route because the only way that this quote shortcut is going to work is if you are the hardest working person in that boot camp. You have to be the person most committed. If you're going to quit your existing job, right? Because you're going to have to do this thing and spend the next 3 to 4 months basically not getting paid like it's going to be tough. You you got to be the, you got to be there and and working hard and just doing the best possible so that you guarantee. I mean, I I can't guarantee it, but I can almost guarantee it as close as I can. I could shake your hand across the across the screen as close as I could to to do that. I could say if you are the if you set your mind to be the hardest working person in that boot camp and the hardest working person at that internship then you're going to have success. Now you're still going to have to fill in the rest of the gaps in your education. A boot camp is not enough. Three months is not enough to become a skilled software developer. But as I, as I teach, you have to learn how to learn. You have to teach yourself. 
If you want more on this, if you're watching this video and you want more on this, go to 10stepstolearn.com and check out my course and I'll teach you how to learn how to learn. A lot of a lot of developers, especially new developers, do that so that they can teach themselves. But that's besides the point. If you want to go check that out, go ahead and check that out. The second thing I would say here is, okay, so let's say that you don't have the cash and you'd have to basically credit card yourself, you know, to get the nine thousand dollars and then you'd be strapped and it'd be bad. You'd have to go into debt. If that's the case, I probably wouldn't do the boot camp right now. Unless the boot camp is like you only have this time limit to be able to do this and get the internship and this is your moment, then you're gonna have to make a tough decision and I can't make that one for you, right? I could just say, you know, think about it real, real carefully and have a plan to get out of debt. But I would advise staying out of debt. If the boot camp could be done like six months from now or a year from now and you don't have the money right now, then here's what you do, man. It is ramen noodle time, right? It is time to, you, there's, you can get cheap food, eggs, rice, beans, ramen noodles, right? <laughs> you're gonna get, you're gonna, you're gonna do that and you're gonna save money, man, while you're, while you're working your retail job, you're gonna keep going to school and learning as much as you can and you're gonna bust, you're gonna bust ass for a while in order to save up that nine grand and then go to the boot camp and then again, you're gonna be the hardest working person in the boot camp and then go and do it. So I hope that helps you, Alexander. I, I think, I, I like the boot camp route for you, but I, I really, think it's best if you pay this cash, if you've got the money and you don't go in debt to do this, there's not a rush here. Uh, and, and having the temperance, which is a, a, a character quality that people lack these days, but having that temperance is going to, uh, is, is, is gonna, gonna help you in the future. So, so think about it that way. Uh, you know, I wish you well. I think this is, it makes sense you know, to, to do it this way, but the key is hard work and it's, it's being smart about this. And uh, yeah, so good opportunity. You know, uh, you, you can do this. <laughs> uh, hopefully that helps. Hey, uh, if you got a question for me, email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. I'd love to answer your question. Again, if you keep it short, you'll be more likely to, to have me answer your question here. Uh, so, uh, you know, you, you'll be saving me some, some time because I won't have to condense it as much. And, uh, and if you like this channel, subscribe. Talk to you next time. Take care.